With Westworld sparking Android fever on a global scale, it comes as no surprise that fans of the genre are scrambling to get their hands on some playable synthetics. And ever since Kara first debuted as a short film in 2012, there's been a buzz around one game in particular. I'm Charlie from Pity Points, and today I'll be reviewing Detroit Become Human. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Part of the David Cage game franchise alongside PlayStation classics like Heavy Rain and Fahrenheit, Detroit Become Human is a third-person cinematic game of choice. It explores the complex themes of societal inequality, prejudice, and what it means to be a victim of persecution. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? The game debuted on PS4 in May 2018 to a largely positive critical response, and marks the most successful Quantic Dream launch to date. More of a spiritual successor to Heavy Rain than Beyond Two Souls, Detroit is a rich, highly personal experience, spanning an enormous web of branching storylines across a poignant allegorical world where androids are treated as second-class citizens, and you control their decisions. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. The player controls one of three central protagonists at a time, where each playable character represents a different approach to the game's major themes. One comes from a very personal perspective, one highly political, and the other one judicial. The diverse range of character archetypes, intentions, and tropes make for three very varied storylines, each tied to the overarching plot, and sometimes crossing over. Character motivations are set up well, and feel strong enough that even when you sometimes end up proposing other versions of yourself, you can't help but react instinctively as you think the character would, making it interesting dynamics and enhancing the player experience. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Almost photorealistic graphics, textures, and motion-captured animations grant the game a grounded and sometimes heartbreakingly real feeling. When your decisions go wrong, it feels all the more real for the effort put into the crafting of the game world and the care taken with character models and actor direction. Voice acting is more than passable, and more often than not indicates your character's level of deviance, serving as a measure of just how far you've strayed from your original programming. Where other decision-based games, such as Telltale's The Walking Dead series, offer you a grand illusion of choice, there are usually unavoidable events which, if you play a certain way, will break your sense of immersion completely. In Detroit, even on the rare occasions that they don't, your decisions feel as if they hold weight affecting the course of your story in significant ways and helping to develop or endanger both the core playable characters and the NPCs. Your decisions not only affect how characters react to you, but also alter their relationships with you. The player has the agency to draw certain reactions and tropes out of other characters, in a way influencing the lives of the NPCs almost as much as the lives of the playable ones. The extent of the potential branching narratives is broad, and the range of friendship, adoration or hatred that you can elicit in other characters is refreshing and offers great replayability. Quick time events are fast paced and hype up the tension of dangerous scenes in exciting and pulse racing ways. Each encounter may be your character's last, and the fact that their lives can be influenced by the player's actions so heavily in just a split second serves to ramp up the tension to even greater levels. The threat of character death, or deactivation, looms almost from the very beginning of the game for some characters, and only grows the further you progress into the story. With the added pressures of maintaining important relationships, keeping secrets, and hitting your character's personal goals, Detroit paints a complex emotional landscape that's a joy to influence. If you're a fan of the genre, or even just curious about the buzz, I'd recommend you checking this title out. It's not without flaws, and as always in this style of game certain decisions can sometimes feel unclear, but backed up with great atmosphere, a tense soundtrack, and plenty of intrigue, trust me, you won't find it wanting.